there, this is Stacy Phillips, and this is my video log for Friday, November 8th. Yeah, I think it's November 8th, uh, 2013. Can't believe it's already getting into Thanksgiving season. It was just Halloween. It was just Labor Day. My goodness, time is flying by. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about something my husband and I were, were discussing earlier this evening. And... Um, I, I sometimes they get the question, um, you know, what do I do? I, 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 I can't seem to stay on plan. Um, you know, I go for a half a day or I go for a day or whatnot, and I cannot, I can't seem to, to stay on plan. Um, you know, I give, can you give me some ideas or can you, can you help me? I just can't seem to stay on plan. Um, yes, <laughs> the, the short answer is that I can, I can tell you um, sort of, how I go about it is in my own journey, in my own life, um, and hopefully maybe um, you can glean something from it that will help you in your journey. Um, I mean, there are a lot of different different things that, um, that I think about. You know, one of the things has been just completely reorienting my, my mind um, and focusing on health um, as opposed to focusing on a diet. Um, now, I didn't get that the first time, but the second time that I did the plan and the fact I've kept it off for two years and even moved into ultra health um, is a lot, a lot because, um, well, it's all because I changed my mind. I changed my mindset. Um, I made a fundamental choice for health and um, uh, I backed it up with action. So that backing it up with action part is the crux of the matter. Um, you know, behavior-based behavior, behavior -based identity change would say, who do you want to be, you know, and then um, what would that person do? Um, for me, uh, I, I wanted to be, I wanted to be, um, in a sense, my own hero, I guess. I, you know, and that... that that sounds self-aggrandizing, and I don't mean it to be. But what I mean to say is that most of my life, I didn't, uh, most of my adult life, um, I didn't really show up for myself. Um, I didn't um, expect much of myself. Uh, and finally, when I realized that I'm a uniquely made individual who has a purpose in life, and um, that that I can accomplish um, the things that I desire to accomplish, um, I started really believing that. Um, and the powerlessness that comes with um, not understanding your value um, very much um, disappears when you start realizing that you can choose health. And you can actually behave in a manner that healthy people behave. And so what I'm saying, it's not, um, it's not all um, just, oh, how am I trying to say? I, this is completely unscripted, so you've got to forgive me. But it's sort of like, um, sort of like having a car. And how would this question sound to you, okay? Somebody calls you up or somebody um, emails you and says, I, you've got to help me. <laughs> I can't seem to get to Costco. And you say, oh, well, you know, I know that Costco is about mm, five miles from your house. Um, you probably drive there. Is that, I mean, how have you gotten to Costco? How have you gotten there in the past? Say, well, I've taken my car. Okay, great. Well, let's start there. You have a car. You've gone to Costco before, so you know the route. Um, you know how to drive a car. So what I would recommend is that you decide a date certain when you want to go to Costco. <laughs> if it's tomorrow, great. Don't go till you're ready. I mean, be sure that you're ready to go to Costco and then decide to go to Costco. So choose a date. Now, if that's tomorrow, great. If it's right now, wonderful. It, you know, 
know, you can go to Costco anytime you want. Um, so, so what you do um, is you get in your car. Yes, I know I get in my car. Every day I get in my car. Every day I get in my car to try and go to Costco. Okay, so tell me a little more. What, what, then what happens? How, how, does your, how does your trip unravel? How is it that you get in the car every day to go to Costco, but then you, you don't get there? Let's work this through because let's, let's take it just step by step. Well, I don't know. I don't know how it happens. I just, I get in the car because I know I'm supposed to get in the car um, and I turn the key and it turns on. But then, I mean, I'm just like going everywhere and I just, I, I mean, just the car's going all over the road and I don't know where I'm going and, and, and it just, it's just driving. It's just going. I, I don't know how. I don't know where, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where, I don't know how, I don't know how to get to Costco. Okay. Well, okay. We can work with that. This is how we work with that. Okay. Do you have a map? Yes, you have a map. Okay, great. So yes, the answer is yes, you have a map. Awesome. Do you have the tool to get there? Do you, do you have the vehicle? Yes. Great. We're on a good roll here. Now, do you have a plan? Do you, do you have a plan to follow your map? Well, yes. Okay, great. Now, when you get in the car and turn it on, are you putting your hands on the steering wheel? Huh. Hmm. Okay. All right. So you're saying I have to put my hands on the steering wheel. Yes. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Utilize that tool that you have to get there with the map that you have and feel free to consult your GPS, your map in, in your, in your iPhone, you know, that your map, um, consult that because that map can tell you how to get there and consult it frequently. Um, but you've got to put your hands on the steering wheel and press the gas and follow the traffic laws. But if you do all of those things, which take action, you will get to Costco. Huh. Okay. So what are the parallels? We have a plan. We have a wonderful plan. It's a, it's a map. It tells us I mean, the plan actually is the tool, the, the, the tool that we utilize, that we engage every morning to get us where we want to go is our plan. We, we have a map. We, we have goals. We know what we want to create with this process. That's wonderful. We have a GPS. We have a coach who we can talk to every week and who can remind us where we said we wanted to go. Because sometimes we forget, <laughs> and then we're out wandering, and we don't know where we're going. Um, so, so utilize your coach. Um, so we have a tool, we have a map, we have a GPS to get us to where we want to go. So if somebody asks me, I don't understand how to stay on plan today. Well, have you ever spent a day on plan in the past up until now? H have you ever done a full 24 hours on plan? Yes, I have. Okay, great. So. We know that you can do it physically. You're capable of following the plan. Your motivation might need a little tweaking. Um, why do you want to go to Costco? Um, do you, is there something you need there? I mean, why, why do you want health in a sense for the plan? Oh, I just want to lose weight. Well, and that's like saying I want to go to Costco because I don't want to be in my house right now. I just don't. You know, I don't want to be here, so I may as well be there. I mean, if that's your reason for leaving the house, you could really accomplish that by going anywhere else but the house. So you're really not, you're really not setting your sights on a destination when you just say, I, I don't know where I want to go. I just don't want to be here. So find out where you want to go. What, what does that look like for you? What, what does optimal health look like for you? What do you want to create with this process? crystallize that in your mind because you've got to have a destination in order to get there. Um, got to have the right tools, uh, a good motivation, um, the right um, uh, GPS, the right map. Got to know how to get there and a guide, a GPS to get to, to, to guide you there. So, you know, all these things are, are necessary and, and, and vital and useful. And so use them because, um, 
it is worth it, and you are worth it, and your health is worth it, uh, and this process is worth it. I mean, I can guarantee you when I weighed 272 pounds um, and was class 4 super obese, um, I didn't know where I wanted to go, but I, just, I didn't want to be here anymore. <laughs> so that wasn't quite enough to get me where I wanted to go because I didn't know where I wanted to go. And until I figured out where I wanted to go, which was optimal health, um, I was really not going anywhere. So anyway, that's today's thoughts. Um, who knows what's going to come out of my husband and I, uh, our talks, some inspiration for another video log another day, but um, this is today. So have a great rest of your weekend and um, remember that you can do this. Um, you're in control of you. Uh, be a master of your body, not the other way around. And um, have a great weekend. Bye.